hear a lot. We're going to pray a lot of prayers, and we're going to hear a lot of story about Jesus, which is really exciting. Uh, so thank you for being here today. I um, encourage you to take a look at your announcements in the back of your bulletin. There's lots going on, lots that folks are involved in. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. If you're a visitor here, uh, please feel free to go back to the welcome table, the visitor table in the back. There's a basket back there that has little baggies in it. And, there's, and those little baggies are for you as a gift. And if you'd like to fill out a visitor card, you can do that too. Uh, that would make folks around here happy. Make me happy too. And you'll make you happy because you'll get free candy. So, uh, yeah. I will then encourage us to go ahead and sing our starting, our opening song here, Good Christian Friends Rejoice. So who are these angels who come to earth? Who are these shepherds who run to see? Who is this child so small, so slight? Who is this king, a manger, his throne? Who is this God who sends a son? You'll sing Angels We Have Heard on High.
invite you to rise as you're available. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, uh, uh, the Son of God sent from heaven above, be with you all. And also with you. Uh, let us pray the prayer of today together. Almighty God, you gave us your Son, Jesus, to take on our human nature and to brighten the world with your light. By your grace, adopt us as your children. Enlighten us with your spirit. Call out of darkness. Empower us to share Christ and his gospel. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. will grow up from the stump of Jesse. A branch will sprout from his roots. The Lord's spirit will rest upon him. A spirit of wisdom and understanding. A spirit of planning and strength. A spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. He will delight in fearing the Lord. He won't judge by appearances nor decide by hearsay. He will judge the needy with righteousness and decide with equity for those who suffer in the land. He will strike the violent with the rod of his mouth. By the breath of his lips, he will kill the wicked. Righteousness will be the belt around his hips, and faithfulness the belt around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb, and the leopard will lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the young lion will feed together, and a little child will lead them. The cow and the bear will graze, their young will lie down together, and a lion will eat straw like an ox. A nursing child will play over the snake's hole. Toddlers will reach right over the serpent's den. They won't harm or destroy anywhere on my holy mountain. The earth will surely be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, just as the water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a signal of the, to the, of the people. The nations will seek him out, and his dwelling will be glorious. Glory to God in highest heaven.
reading from Micah. As for you, Bethlehem, Bethlehem of Ephrah, though you are the least significant of Judah's forces, one who is to be a ruler in Israel on my behalf will come out of you. His origin is from remote times, from ancient days. Therefore, he will give them up until the time when she who is in labor gives birth. The rest of his kin will return to the people of Israel. He will stand and, shepherds his, and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. They will dwell securely, because he will surely become great throughout the earth. He will become one of peace. Glory to God in the highest heaven. The second reading, Luke 1, 26 to 38. When Elizabeth was six months pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a city in Galilee, to a virgin who was engaged to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David's house. The virgin's name was Mary. When the angel came to her, he said, Rejoice, favored one. The Lord is with you. She was confused by these words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. The angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is honoring you. Look, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over Jacob's house forever, and there will be no end to his kingdom. Then Mary said to the angel, How will this happen since I haven't had sexual relations with a man? The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come over you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. 
Therefore, the one who is to be born will be holy. He will be called God's son. Look, even in her old age, your relative Elizabeth has conceived a son. This woman, who was labeled unable to conceive, is now six months pregnant. Nothing is impossible for God. Then Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be with me just as you have said. Then the angel left her. Glory to God in highest heaven. Your baby boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you This is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. When Mary, his mother, was engaged to Joseph, before they were married, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man. Because he didn't want to humiliate her, he decided to call off their engagement quietly. As he was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the child she carries was conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place so that what the Lord had spoken through the prophet would be fulfilled. Look, a virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. When Joseph woke up, He did just as the angel from God commanded and took Mary as his wife. 
but he didn't have sexual relations with her until she gave birth to a son. Joseph called him Jesus. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax years. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius was govern governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage, and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace 
among those whom he favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Glory to God in the highest heaven. I've heard about this baby boy who comes to earth to bring us joy. And I just want to sing this song to you. He came from heaven, came to earth to teach us peace and teach us love. With every breath I'm singing, Alleluia, Alleluia. My soul doth magnify the Lord, my spirit doth rejoice again. I bear the Lord and Savior, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Expecting child, they searched the end to find a place for you were coming soon. There was no room for them to stay, so in a manger filled with hay, God's only son was born. Oh, alleluia, alleluia. Just as the angel said, you'll find him in a manger bed, Emmanuel and Savior, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A star shone bright up in the east to Bethlehem. The wise men three came many miles and journeyed long for you. And to the place at which you were, the frankincense and gold and myrrh they gave to you and cried out, Alleluia, Alleluia.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the territory of Judea during the rule of King Herod, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen his star in the east, and we've come to honor him. When King Herod heard this, he was troubled, and everyone in Jerusalem was troubled with him. He gathered all the chief priests and the legal experts and asked them where Christ was to be born. They said, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what the prophets wrote. You, Bethlehem, land of Judah, by no means are you least among the rulers of Judah, because from you will come one who governs, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the Magi and found out from them the time when the star had first appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search carefully for the child. When you've found him, report to me, so that I too may go and honor him. When they heard the king, they went, and look, the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until the, it stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother. Falling to their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasure chest and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Because they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back to their own country by another route. Glory to God in the highest heaven. reading is from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not extinguish the light. A man named John was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him everyone would believe in the light. He himself was not the light, but his mission was to testify concerning the light. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the world. The light was in the world, and the world came into being through the light. But the world didn't recognize the light. The light came to his own people, and his own people didn't welcome him. But those who did welcome him, those who believed in his name, he authorized to become God's children, born not from blood, nor from human desire or passion, but born from God. The word became flesh and made his home among us. We have seen his glory, glory like that of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. 
John testified about him, crying out, this is the one of whom I said, he, come, he who comes after me is greater than me because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. As the law was given through Moses, so grace and truth came into being through Christ, Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. God, the only Son, who is at the Father's side, has made God known. Glory to God in highest heaven. pray this prayer together responsibly. Hmm. Are we ahead of slide? There we go. Gracious God, you come from heaven above into the midst of your world. Fill our hearts with the joy of the angels at your birth. Come from heaven above to the lowliest of human conditions. Watch over those in need, the sick, the hungry, the we especially ask that you watch over anyone that we name out loud or in the silence of our hearts. You come from heaven above to walk the way of the cross. Guide us to follow your path of forgiveness, mercy, and peace. You come from heaven above to become flesh and live among us. May we see your glory, full of grace and truth. Amen. Now, Christ lives and is among us right now, folks. Jesus promises wherever even two or three of us are gathered in his name, he will be there too. So if you're here in the name of Christ Jesus, then I'll invite you to stand up and greet folks around you with, with a sign of Christ's peace. And those of you who are worshiping outdoors today, peace of Christ to you also, especially you, Buck.
So here's something I've learned. If someone around here at Decor is insistent on something, clearly the Holy Spirit is up to something. So I invite you to rise, and we will sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. May the God who comes from heaven above be born in your hearts and lives this day and always. Unto us the Son has given. Let's sing our final hymn today with some energy.
Well, our Savior was born, but he was not born for us only to adore him. Our Savior has come, but he did not come so we can stay put and stay among our friends, stay in our buildings, or stay in our safe places. Christ is with us, yes, so tell about our Savior through your actions and your words in homes and on mountains and on hills and really everywhere. But most of all, please go in peace.